In the lesson today, Masopo introduced new words from the story and the learners put the new word cards on the wall. While Masoko was doing the word wall activity with her class, her colleague Valerie was also using a story to teach her children sounds. So this is the book I read with the children. And then the title of the book says Hobolokela Kamoso, which means saving for tomorrow or saving for the future. The children enjoyed this book a lot, especially when I acted it out. So they were like, wow. It was, it was really amazing. In this book, there are words, the repeated words, and then they themselves are the ones that came up with those repeated words. So they gave me the first word and the second word. From these words, we came up with the phonics, t and t. And then they gave their examples, their own examples, not from the book, but the ones that they know themselves. At the end of the day, Valerie asked Masiko how her lesson went. How did it go? I think everything went well. Uh huh. At least my kids well, they behaved well today. Did they enjoy the lesson? Yes, they enjoyed it. Why do you say that? Because they managed to read mm -hmm. and they also managed to learn new words. They were able to pronounce those words and they were able to remember the meaning of those new words. Then how did you manage the learners who were not with, with the group that you were using? Those learners, I gave them phonic activities to do it, but the activities were not the same. Each group had its own activity, but with the same phonic. So at least they were not troublesome? No, they were not troublesome. Okay. They were all busy. What did they learn from the whole thing that you did? They learned the phonics mm -hmm. and they were, they also learned how to use the exclamation mark while you are reading. Mm -hmm. And they also learned how do you read a question? In, while reading. In a sentence where there is a question, mm -hmm. how do you pose a question while reading? What can you do to improve where there was no, like, a lack of something? Okay, I have realized that if I would have enlarged the book to see all the illustrations well, maybe they will improve in their reading. So next time I will make sure that I enlarge the pictures in the book so that my learners can be more interested. Did the learners manage to put the new words on the wall? Yes, they managed because we are doing that most of the time when we are doing reading lessons in the classroom. If there are new words, I give them those new words to put it on the word wall. So it was much easier for them to do that because it's something that we normally do in the class. And the fact that they were participating I think they really enjoyed that.